Hi friends, it's Lady Chan here. I'm back with another reaction. I've been itching to get back into more GFBF, aka Tom McDonald and Nova Rockefeller, um, the duo we all know and love. And so I'm gonna get into I'm Not Well today. Um, before uh, we get into this, I know I posted on um, my channel about the interview that um, Tom McDonald did on The Fighter and the Kid, which that's huge, guys. That's so big, so exciting. Um, Novo was there uh, behind the camera, um, and I I listened to that podcast a lot because of Chris D'Elia, who is my favorite comedian. And so that was, I don't know, I felt kind of proud that Tom was on there today. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, go watch it because it's awesome. Um, obviously, it's only like an hour, so they didn't really get to touch on everything. But they touched on the main points right now, and I think that that's cause for them to bring him back in the future. Um, they seem to have a good relationship with Jelly Roll, which is a friend of Tom's. So I see um, more of this kind of happening for Tom, and we love that, guys. We're here for it. Hangover gang in the building. Let's get into this one. my mind today my life feels like a landslide and i'm getting swept away there's something wrong i know but the waiting room sorry the the sounds in the background are, are giving very much like lights i don't know if you guys know who lights is but i I get that vibe kind of there, that's nice. There's something wrong, I know. But the waiting room is full. And the doctor bills for these fucking pills are making me go broke. I keep dreaming of a better place. I keep writing. I'm wondering if this was, um, cause I know this was shot, what, six years ago. Was this kind of like their turning point of like having that conversation of going sober together? Um, cause I know this wasn't too far off of when Tom kind of had his really big breakdown. Um, and he, uh, moved to California to be with Nova. Um, was this kind of what like this album did that like kick them into gear of like sobriety or was that like more like
That was so cute and so good. Together, like, okay, so individually, they're so stinking creative just apart. And you can tell that their stories are very different. So they have their own stories to tell. There's nothing about them where you, where you get the vibe of them like leeching off of each other for artistic creation. Like they've been doing this for a very long time, separate from each other. And when they combined and created this freaking boom of, of art together, it's insane. I don't know, just like seeing them together and like they, their, their chemistry is so in sync. Like I, I can't really think of another time I've seen someone like this in this realm where they were just so incredibly in sync that like, it's like they could communicate with just their eyes and they could create like a whole storybook. Do you know what I mean? Like that kind of chemistry, that kind of connection. That's kind of what I get every time I see them together in like a video or just talking, like everything. Like they're just so incredibly in sync and it's amazing and it's beautiful. And it's, it's just, I, oh, like I just want to hug them, but like also like bang their heads together because they're so dang cute um thank you guys for joining me on this one what another great gfbf song um i can't wait to get into the next one i will see you there <laughs>